Hi Atlantic High School, thanks for joining us. I'm Hannah King. And I'm Kennedy Lowerton, and you're watching this week's Eye of the Needle. We bring you the news and events you don't want to miss. Good. On Saturday, the speech and debate team competed. Three of the six entries received Division I ratings. In ensemble acting, Brecklin Carey and Hannah McLean performed Patio. In musical theater, Brecklin Carey, Hannah McLean, Ben Parker, Justin Summers, Hannah Glenn, and Andrew Rofers performed Shrek. And lastly, in radio news, the station DCAR, Daniel Haas, and Cheyenne Elliott and Riley Seifert also received a Division I rating. These groups will advance to state large group speech competition on February 7th. Last Friday, boys and girls basketball both won against Clarenda Cardinals. The boys' score was 66-27 to and girls 49-40. On Monday, the girls played trainer and lost in a close game 65-59. The game was neck and neck until the end of the third quarter when Trainer pulled away getting a 12 point game. The Trojans worked hard in the fourth quarter and cut the lead within six points but couldn't pull away with a victory. Both teams will be back in action on Friday against Red Oak. In wrestling news, the team placed fourth out of 23 teams in the 60th annual John J. Harris Wrestling Tournament last Friday and Saturday in Corning. Cole Hansen wrestled at 106 placing fourth, Carter Cox at 113 placed third, Austin Williams fourth, at 138, Reed Nichols second, wrestling at 145, Zach Stork third at 160, Drake Roller got fourth, wrestling at 170, Keegan Haas fell fifth, wrestling at 190, Skylar Swoboda placed second place at 285. The team will take on Lewis Central and Red Oak at Red Oak on Thursday. They then will travel to Glenwood for a conference tourney on Saturday. Now Tori with this week's Trojan Buzz. Tori Krog reporting for Eye of the Needle, and this week's Trojan Buzz is about the choir competition that took place last weekend. Here with me today is Miss Gasser. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Who are the soloists that performed this weekend? The soloists were Ben Parker and Haley Glenn. How did they do? They did very well. They did a nice job in both the um, daytime show and the finals performance. How do you feel the group did as a whole? I think their best performance was actually during the finals um, section of the competition when they got into finals. What are some things that you would like to improve on? In the next two weeks we're trying to improve on our second number which is writing the storm out. It's the last piece we actually learned so it needs the most improvement in choreography. Okay. What is the next competition? We actually have a state uh, show choir on Monday, and we perform at 6.40 with Diversity and 8.35 with Premier. Good luck. Thank you. Now back to you, Hannah and Kennedy. Thanks, Tori. That concludes this week's episode. Until next time, I'm Hannah. And I'm Kennedy. Thanks for watching Eye of the Needle. Make this week count, AHS.